Hey everyone, it's DT. Today I'm going to show you what normals are, how to check them, problems they can cause, how to flip them, and the solidify modifier. So I know how to do this for 2.8 to 3.0, and I'm using 3.0 right now. And right here I have some cubes. They look just fine. So basically what normals are, it is the inside and the outside of your mesh. The outside of your mesh, that will be what's textured or what the texture shows up on the inside of your mesh the texture will not show up so this is how you would check that you go to overlays click the drop down and then face orientation and you'll see these three examples here the middle one is the blue the blue is always going to be the outside of your mesh and then the red that is the inside of your mesh so problems that can cause so if you create in Second Life like me, if you made a shirt and your normals are flipped and you upload that shirt, you texture it, you'll notice that the outside of the shirt will be transparent. And if you look on the inside of the shirt, that's where your texture will show up. So this is how you would go about flipping your normals to the correct side. So you're going to select your mesh, go to Object, Apply, Rotation and Scale, and then Go into edit mode, A, to select all, control shift in. And you see recalculate normals, that says inside. Uncheck that and bam, there you go. And let me do this again. Object mode, apply, rotation and scale. Tab for edit mode, A, to select all, control shift in and I press those at the same time and then uncheck inside and there you go the normals are flipped and I also have an example for you here already on second life so these normals are inside out for this red cube as you can see now it looks whole but when you look on the outside of it you can see through it. This one, this was the middle blue one. And then when you look inside of it, it disappears. This is the correct way to have your normals. This is just with the top of the box taken off. So once again, you look on the inside and it disappears. And this cube is with the solidify modifier. So when you look on the inside and the outside, all of it shows up when you actually look inside of the mesh itself it disappears this is very useful for when you're making clothing or if you have other items like cups or bowls and you want to make sure that you can see the inside and outside of them so let me show you how to use the solidify modifier i'm going to go back into object mode and i'm going to use this box right here modifiers tab modify tab and I'm going to go into generate and solidify let's come out of the face orientation and you can change the thickness of this if you're making clothes I would honestly suggest that you make it like as thin as possible you don't want to make it too thick unless you're making something like puffer jackets etc but you'll be able to determine that for yourself when you are meshing so if I make this super thick like that, and let's go back into face orientation. And now you see that when you look inside of the mesh, both sides are blue, like all of it's blue. And the only time you're going to see red is when you look inside of the mesh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know um, a better way to say that, but you get what I mean. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, hit like and subscribe to stay tuned for more 3D modeling content with tips, tricks, clothing, accessories, and creating for Second Life videos and more. Bye.